Patrick is feasting on me like he should be the dinner that we have all prepared to eat together. I can feel the fumes building inside because I'm being disrespected. I don't really understand where you come off thinking that it's an appropriate platform to just sit here at a di family dinner and bring up something that is involving me and a new person in this environment. <gasps> It was a little random. It was a little random, I'm not gonna lie. No, I was just a little. It was boring. What I was insane trying to say. It wasn't stupid. I yes, was Yes, it was. Well, I was like, look, we've all well, like been this, here. Look, you what, guys we're look what we're getting out of this. Because I was actually being real with you about my feelings when I told you and confided in you something that I didn't expect you to turn around and bring up at a dinner table. Cheyenne, you wanna keep coming for me? You wanna keep coming for Chris Cheyenne? Keep it up, baby. This is not gonna work out well for you, my friend. There's no point to this at all, I other than for me to feel like an ass because I sat and I gave you a bit of information that was not gossip, that was not sh talking. It was me feeling a certain way and explaining a situation. Well, so but it was sort of, it was sort of talky. Really? Like, because I you absorbed it like it was butter on bread. I said if you took two seconds to know Chris, then you wouldn't think differently because you I, don't actually even know him. Had I been given two seconds to get to know Chris without you bringing up something entirely inappropriate that I could have talked to him about myself, then yes, maybe we have something to talk about here. Because like, I'm, I'm sensitive and like- Oh, what I'm the like, f are you doing here?